Science matters, and I've been here today at the Royal Society, arguably one of the most distinguished scientific institutions in the world, to talk about the impact Brexit has already had and the impact it would have if we actually leave. They told me some shocking statistics that EU research funding to the UK has fallen already by almost a third, worth half a billion euros, that almost a 40% drop in UK applications has taken place to Horizon 2020, the EU's main research programme, and also that Britain is becoming a less attractive destination for top scientific talent, 35% fewer scientists coming to the UK through key schemes. So this is a really worrying picture, and we haven't even left yet. They were equally worried about what will happen if we do leave and how the networks of scientific collaboration, of which Britain is a central part now, will be damaged by this. They've even been to places like Switzerland that try from outside to participate in EU schemes, and it's just not the same. So the message I take from all this is that the best deal for us all, and certainly for Britain's future as a, as a centre of scientific excellence, is actually to stay in the European Union.